The following video is designed to walk election officials through various scenarios involving voters and ballot clerks. These scenes are intended to help election officials follow the details in New Hampshire election law. It is designed to teach poll worker etiquette, differences among voters, photo ID protocol, election official verifications, challenged voter affidavits or CVAs, and religious affidavits, marking the checklist accurately, marking checkbox, using a ruler, absentee voters, party for undeclared voters, challenged voter affidavits, out-of-state driver's licenses and address changes, monitoring by moderator or assistant. Hi, I'm Bobby Breton, 12 Main Street. Bobby Breton, Republican? Yes. And 12 Main Street, P.O. Box, still your current address? Yes, 62, P.O. Box 62. P.O. Box 62, correct. Perfect. Okay, and can I see your license? Thank you. Thank you. All set? Yep, and Republican. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and party? John Acorn. Uh, I'm an independent. John Acorn, undeclared. In order to vote in a primary, you have to choose a party. Which party would you like to be today? Uh, I'll pick uh, Democratic today. Okay. And I have 47 First Street. Is that still your current address? Yes, 47 First Street. And do you have a driver's license? Thank you. John Acorn, undeclared, 47 First Street. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, Deb. Did you write off his uh, party affiliation choice? Oh, I did not. List? I forgot. Thank you. Oh, okay, great. Thanks. Good morning. Robert Brown. Okay, and party? I'm a Republican, I guess. Okay, I have Robert Brown, Republican, at 56 Woodbury Road, P.O. Box 93. Is this still your current address? Yes. Okay, may I see your driver's license, please? Yeah. And it's a Massachusetts driver's license? Yes. There you go. Thank you. And he's Republican. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Your name and party? Uh, Donna Appleby, Democrat. I'm not seeing you on the checklist. Have you changed your name since you registered to vote? No. Oh, you know what? I never did register to vote when I moved here. Okay. Is um, that something I can do today? Yes, it is. Um, you could go over to the supervisors of the checklist, and they will have you fill out a registration form, and we can see you a bit later. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Your name and party? Susan Burgess. Republican. Susan Burgess, Republican. I have 34 Jerry Drive, P.O. Box 54. Is this still correct? No, it's 64 Fairview Ave. No mailing address either anymore. And no mailing, no P.O. box? No. Okay. And 
Your driver's license, please? Yep, hang on. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Susan Burgess, Republican, 64 Fairview Ave. Hi. Your name and party? Uh, Christine Buckley. I'm not seeing your name on the list. Have you changed your name since you last registered to vote? No, I haven't changed my name and I'm registered. I should be on that list. What was the street address again? At uh, 29 Mockingbird Lane. I don't believe Mockingbird Lane is in this ward. Well, what ward is this? Um, this is Ward 1. Let me check my street list to see what Ward Mockingbird Lane is in. It's in Ward 2. Okay. If you'd like to see the greeter that you passed on the way out, they'll be able to give you directions to Ward 2. All right. Thank you. Hi. Name and party? Patty Adams, 15 Pine Street. Patricia Adams? Yes. Okay. And 15 Pine Street still your current address? Yes, it is. Okay. And do you have an ID? It's in my car. Um, I'm in a hurry. I think probably what I'll do, it's too far to walk and come back. How about if I come back later? An election official could vouch for you if you'd like. Do you know any election officials that are here? I've only been in town a few weeks. I just barely moved here, so no one really knows me. You have another option. You can go to the challenge voter affidavit table, and you can sign an affidavit and have them take your picture. You can bring that back to us, and then we can give you a ballot. Yeah, I'll come back. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Name and party? I'm uh, William Babin, Democrat. Okay. William Babin, Democrat at 33 High Street. Is this still correct? That's correct. Okay, and I see you don't have a photo ID with you today? Uh, I have uh, one of these and one of these. Okay. I hope that's okay. You have a challenge voter affidavit. In this case with the challenge voter affidavit, his photo was not taken because of his religious beliefs. So in that case, he signed an affidavit of religious exemption, which would be kept with the challenge voter affidavit in lieu of the photo. And they would be stapled together and, and, and kept by the clerk. William Babin, Democrat, 33 High Street, and you are all set. Thank you. I have some names of absentee ballots to be recorded. Okay. Okay, I have uh, Mary Baraby of 28 Main Street. Republican. Okay, and then I have Thomas Boyd of 23 High Street. He's voting this time as a Republican. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Hi, Paula Abdul, Democrat. Paula Abdul, Democrat. I have Paula Abdul, Democrat at 17 Pine Street. Is that still your current address? It is correct. Okay, do you have your ID? I do. 
That's your credit card. Okay, hang on. I've got more. That's your Starbucks card. Oh my God, hang on. I've got something else with my name on it. And that's your credit card. Do you have something with a photo ID, a government issued ID, a student ID? I do not. I don't. Okay. Do you know any election official that's here that may be able to identify you? I do. I know the moderator. Okay. Let me call the moderator. Dean? Hey, I'm Paula. How can I help you? She forgot her driver's license today. Oh. <laughs> Paula, good to see you. Paula Abdul. Thanks, Dean. Worked for our family's babysitter for years. Great okay. Uh, before you go away, okay. I've heard about the new tablet. Would you want to know, can I use that today? Would you like Absolutely. to use the accessible sure. voting system? Yes, I would. Okay, she'll be taking a Democratic ballot. Very good. We'll right, right over here, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, name and party? Pat Adams, I was in earlier and I didn't have my license. Okay. Okay, I see that I've already have you checked off. Um, in your 15 Pine Street? Yes. And you may take a Republican ballot. Thank you. Patricia Adams, Republican, 15 Pine Street. Good morning. Hi, uh, Donna Appleby. I was in earlier. I wasn't on the checklist and uh, I had to register to vote. Okay. Okay, this is an authorization card that's used with uh, voters that are registering for the first time. And you, you can use this if you like, it's optional. And the voter will fill out this information at the supervisors of the checklist table. The supervisors of the checklist will then check the information and sign it, give it back to the voter. The voter will bring it to the ballot clerk table. The ballot clerks will then register it in the book under the person's last name and they will it's at the end of the letter and they fill in the information that they have on registered on the card once the information is registered and complete they take the card and put it into a folder that they keep along with the challenge voter affidavits so your name is Donna Appleby and I have you at 22 Main Street is that correct yes okay and you are undeclared uh, yes I'm just going to log your information in. And do you have an ID? Thank you. There you go. And which ballot will you be choosing today? A Democrat. Okay. Donna Appleby, Democrat, 22 Main Street. And you are all set. Okay, thank you. This video was designed to show election officials various scenarios involving voters and ballot clerks. The video was intended to instruct election officials in New Hampshire election law. In conclusion, we remind you to treat all voters with a smile and deal with them equally without showing preference. Be ready for every circumstance, including any voter who wants to use the accessible voting system. Voters who don't have an acceptable photo ID, but may know an election official who can verify them. Voters who signed the religious affidavit instead of having a photo taken in order to submit a challenged voter affidavit. Voters who aren't particularly friendly and seem to have important things to do. Ballot clerks should anticipate and welcome correction by the moderator, assistant moderator, etc., when they are missing something. There is more to miss now. Photo ID protocol contains a number of potential steps, each of which must be followed when appropriate. For undeclared voters in party primaries, make sure you mark the party ballot that was taken. The general public, election officials, legislature, and enforcement authorities rely on having an accurate record of election day voters, absentee voters, challenged voter affidavits, out-of-state driver's licenses, party for undeclared voters, and address changes. Thank you for your time and commitment in making sure every voter counts.